I was determined to raise my children in a happy home, and I think the home should be your sanctuary. And there were just things, arguing, and things that just, there was no peace. And the thing that kept me from doing that was fear of raising four kids on my own. But I decided I'm just gonna trust God. And so I made that decision. So at the time we moved here, Sydney was two, Jordan was four, Devon was nine, Tasha was 19. What we found is I wanted my kids to have a solid foundation because there is so much division in the world. I read, a house divided cannot stand. So I had to have a solid foundation. And if at least we all believed in the same thing, that would help. So in order for them to capture my what I was saying, they had to have their own relationship with God. And that came from reading to them at night, Bible study with them during the day. And as a single mom, you don't have a lot of time. So the only way I can get my Bible study in is if I did it with them. And so what would happen over the years, I find out things they would see me do, they would do. My son Devin said, I learned more from watching what you did than what you said. It's really simple, mm -hmm. if you really think about it. It's like from a very early age, we were raised watching teachers, listening to the word, but then mm -hmm. the difference was we would see it work in our day-to-day -day oh, lives. Absolutely. So it was like, okay, this isn't just something somebody else is telling us, like I'm seeing his work, right? What do you do after church as a Bridges family? Every single one of them are gonna say, we sit at the kitchen table and we talk about the service. And you know, as kids, you get antsy and you're ready for service to get out and you just want to go play with toys or play the Xbox or something. But my mom would always, either in the car or when we got back, she would say, hey, let's all sit at the table and talk about what we got out of church. As an adult, we recognize the value of that because what she was doing is she was taking what happened in church, right, and bringing it back to the home. Like when mm -hmm. we were little, it was mm -hmm. like, you couldn't listen to this music and you couldn't watch this. And like, even if you go upstairs right now, there's towers of VHSs of Christian cartoons and, and coloring books. And I'm like, oh, again, we're on a road trip. And so it's like, pull out, pull out the Bible. And so it's like, why did you do that? But now that I'm like almost 40 and I have a 14 year old, it's like, now I get it. I get it now that I'm a parent. There are plenty of mornings in my head where I'm like, where's my mom? And I go in and I see her sitting in her, her blue love seat, just her with her, her journal. And when I was young, I didn't know what she was writing. And as I grew up, she would say, hey, I'm praying. I'm doing my prayer time. I'm in my quiet time. I, I truly believe in the power of prayer. I truly believe in finding scriptures in the Bible to stand on those prayers that you're asking, pray God's word back to him, to pray without ceasing. The things that grew my faith was when I've prayed for my kids and they may not have known and I've seen them, the prayers answered. That Bible, she's had that Bible for so long, it doesn't even have a cover anymore, but it still has the same truths in there. You know, that Bible's been through as much life as my mom has and it's still there and she still uses it. As I'm stepping more and more into my my faith life and I have a family now with Haley, like those are rhythms that I'm gonna be looking to establish because I've seen it before. We lived here for five months and my only sibling died in a car accident. I was a mess. I wouldn't get out of bed. Sydney was two and Jordan was four. And she came to the bed and she said, Mommy, I know you're sad, but we miss our friends at church. Could you please take us to church so we can play with our friends? A mom's gonna get out of bed to do for her kids. And later on that showed me, I wonder, what if I had not been taken them to church? You know, how would I be? So I forced myself to go to church because they wanted to go to church. You know, just looking at the sheer reality of our circumstances, a single parent with three kids in the house and also helping out with the half siblings. The odds were stacked against us to not be a successful family. You know, to be a single woman 
doing this, you can't do it without God. There is just simply no way possible. And to watch my mom through faith raise all of us has shown me as, as well as the rest of my siblings the importance of following God's voice even when it doesn't seem like it makes sense. I believe you can do it. Don't let down your 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 morals or God's word. Don't trade that. Know God's word. Know what you can stand on. Share those words with your children. Study God's word with your children. Help your kids understand what a relationship with Christ is. Not what a Christian is, but what a relationship is with Christ.